Hey guys, welcome to another video. Nazrin here and I am missing you guys big time because it's been a while. It's been a while since I last recorded the video. Yes, I have not been consistent and I'm sorry. So today, today, today I'm gonna walk you through something in which you guys will like it. Probably not too technical but it revolves around design. Okay, so what I'm gonna talk about today, it's basically about a tool that I use when I create Mulakan. For those who don't know, Mulakan is a um, one-stop shop for DIY websites, uh, templated landing pages, sales funnels, e-commerce and so on. So basically you combine uh, WordPress, Wix, Shopify, uh, Calendly because we have booking appointments um, and many other tools into one platform. But you don't have all these things without design. So today I'm going to talk about design and how I managed to actually achieve uh, the design in Mulakan. Uh, pretty much standard design but a design that converts, design that attracts, design that pops. I'm not a professional graphic designer but I learn from all these tools because it helps me elevate uh, my skills at least knowing uh, the user experience side of things, knowing uh, the web design of things, knowing the graphic design of things because all these design traits are different. So UX design, user experience design, you need to understand uh, the layout of the website. Actually user experience and web design is probably the same uh, but there's a slight distinct difference because of understanding human attention to detail. Like um, if you were to browse a website, people browse in a clockwise fashion. Okay, And then user experience is understanding how people browse, how, where people click, um, what type of colors to use that attracts people, that, that makes people just want to you know, click and want to do more. Spark curiosity and that usually leads into conversion, sales and more business for you guys. And then for graphic design, it's more into probably doing social posts, blog posts um, and uh, those collaterals like uh, business cards, letterhead, uh, logo design and so on. So all those things are important but uh, they are different. I'm going to touch on the tool that I use which is Canva Pro. It is a pro version. Well. I believe you guys know Canva is a free tool. Uh, well, you can usually use it in a free tool, but what I like about Canva Pro is that they have a certain feature that helps you to do more stuff. And when I say about more stuff, it's it relates to a few, it really a few things. And one of the few things is uh, the background remover. Okay, so let's just create one design. As you can see over here, this particular guy, this is a platform, uh, the Mulakan platform. So this is an image. So if you look into the image and understand how things are being designed, it is uh, this particular guy smiling with, uh, you know, the numbers of sales at the back and then with the website. And then there's a little bit of shadow behind this. And there's, you cut it in one line. So you can do that with Canva. So maybe let's just design it more um, attractive than this um, design. So when we go back to Canva, right, what we will do, I usually look for square design. So when you create a design, you can actually look for a lot of things. Um, if you type website, okay, the standard website um, dimension is, let's look into this resize, right? is 1366768. This is probably for small laptops, but for standard ones is 1920 by 1080. This is a standard desktop screen size. Okay, so, but for now, I'm just showing you that this is the uh, template that we can use uh, for probably backgrounds, okay? Or um, something huge that you want it to, to appear uh, on a certain section of the page. Okay, so uh, let's go back into uh, creating a new design. Um, so going back to the page, right? This doesn't look like a square, but it looks like a slight rectangle. So let's um, probably go and resize this into a smaller width. So let's put it one 1080 and then resize this. Yeah, okay, can. So um, num step number one, you want something at the back. Uh, what I'm gonna do is basically to put a frame, uh, a picture inside a frame, and then have some borders, a simple design that attracts. This is just one of the many ways you can actually play around with frames, borders, blobs, and, and colors. So let's just uh, find a human being. Um, let's just look for smiling lady. 
because we have a guy over here let's just give uh you know the other gender a chance to show herself okay um yeah maybe we can do this this one as you can see there's a background so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna crop this out okay all right give some space there. i can do two things number one i want to keep the background number two that i will duplicate this thing okay uh, how to duplicate is basically like click uh press option or oh, i think for um windows is alternate and I just drag it click and drag so i'm gonna keep the second version the first one uh, i'm gonna add the image i'm gonna remove the background so within seconds the background will be removed so let's just count how many seconds 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 8 seconds guys. Probably 8 or 9 seconds lah. But it removes, you see how detailed this background removal is until you can see the hair. Strings of hair over here. Also they detect. So it's good because it's AI generated uh, background removal. So I'm just going to park this on the side. Okay, let's focus on this particular picture. And then I'm going to find uh, a frame, a stylish frame. Let's just use um, something of uh, like a hand-drawn frame. Okay, lah, let's just choose this. Okay, so frame is where you can actually park the image inside. Okay, so this is a frame. Let's put this picture inside. So as you can see, the picture is inside the frame, but you want parts of the picture to pop up above and outside the frame. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna increase okay, this part. You see the face has been cropped up by the frame, but not to worry. You have the background remover here, the version. So make sure the, oh, you need to press uh, command so that it will not uh, overlap is it of the same size let's to check so let's just play around until we will find yeah close the door okay, let me try again play with the eyebrows Pay attention to the details as you see the hair and uh, so on. I think that looks good. Just the nose cut off a little bit, trying to fix the nose here. Then the face got distorted. The idea is to actually make making sure the size of uh, pictures are the same. Exactly. Just now I didn't do that, but let's play around. I mean, this is fun, right? Let's make sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's just do this. I know the face is a bit distorted, but from far, <laughs> you cannot see. <laughs> so, um, the rest of the pictures, right here, I'm going to remove it. So, as you can see, the only thing that we need from the picture. Oh, okay, there's this part as well. So. Yeah. Then the picture is now distorted. Let's see if I can bring it up. Ah. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, this is the first picture. And then um, you want to add a little bit of, uh, you know, group them and then position them to the center. Okay. And then you want to splash some blob background. So what is blob is actually irregular, no, B L O B, irregular shapes that you can splash things at the back. Um, maybe let's just choose an animated one. Oh no, for these purposes maybe I'll do a simple one. Or let's just pick a gradient. We didn't offer nicer color. Yeah. This is nice. Okay. 
my new disk is going to be in the background so when you right click send to back and of course we're going to increase this a little bit because it's irregular right so you can just play around with the rotation see uh, if it's looking nice the way it is okay and then you want to put a frame see there's so many elements into one graphic and it takes time this is just for demo purposes so i not frame um borders okay there's so many borders that we can play around here um it can be a standard square border it can be a rectangle border we choose this one nah um Let's just use a simple golden border. Yeah, here. Okay. So the idea of the border sometimes is it should not be boring. So what I will do is I will to dupl duplicate this border. Eh, sorry. Duplicate this border. Okay. And then um, I will to duplicate this picture. Okay. To duplicate, you just click right click and then. Uh, copy and then you paste it by control V uh, of course you're gonna I'm going to uh, put this on top right but I don't need to actually duplicate the, the border so you can see now the the border is behind the head but this part it is in front but okay, I think you get what I mean. We can play around and see and experiment, um, you know, these kind of things. And all you need to actually export these things is just to group them together, then expand it to a slightly bigger version. Okay. Okay. And then when you export, right, download, make sure it's a transparent background. Um, try to compress the file because in websites you need lightweight size, not too big. Because if you do that, then it will load very slow for the page speed. So you download. Download, you get uh, to ask which place to download, and just put this uh, lady smiling. Okay. Right, then back to this page. Okay, in Mulakan, you can edit this image, and of course, you can find uh, and upload the file. You see, so you download lady smiling about 200 and you know, KB. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So you can you can see the idea right of actually doing this and if you want to make sure everything is in place what i'm referring to as ux right user experience making sure everything is consistent for example if you use this type of gradient make sure your color of the button is probably the same so we edit styling then you can add gradient then the style you can actually follow this blue this green color so i have this um, tool on my Mac which I can extract colors okay here is about cruise color and then in the gradient setting I can actually change the color okay and then uh, I'm gonna take the, blue, the color tool I'm gonna paste it to another gradient so it's consistent Okay, as you can see over here. Okay, is there a border somehow? Let me check border size zero. Okay, can. So something like that. Okay, to actually spark up and pops up design in web sites and also you know your landing pages and stuff like that. So let me just go through with you why Canva Pro is good. Uh, compared to the free one. Number one, of, of course, like I just did the background removal. It's awesome. Uh, of course, you can go offline, but then it's nice to have the, the feature inside a tool which you can find other other things. Sometimes when you find Google uh, in all this, inf um, sometimes when you want to find all these assets and um, things in Google, it's going to take a toll and you need to always find a, a high resolution version. But in Canva, everything is here so you can have access number two have access to all those premium um, features elements okay right and then number three um, as I go back and close this tab 
you can resize for example i have this particular uh, project which i do create this uh, gabon gibon or gabon i don't know so you can actually resize it into different type of canvas for example i want to resize this i can either resize it with within the same um, project or i can copy and resize to it to a new design project so all will have the same so yeah okay these are my other designs <laughs> so the point is you can do uh, resizing at one go so that's point number three so let's go back to home uh, you can also create a brand kit so brand kit as much as i'm not the best person to talk about branding but you know i have created my own brand kit <laughs> number one the logo number two the color palette number three the fonts and these are essential for websites you need to have all these things intact to make sure you are consistent within the branding guide which is the brand kit so yeah this is the fourth thing which i like about the canva pro so the fifth thing is a content planner to be honest i didn't use this but it would be nice to actually utilize this thing because in the end of the day uh, it helps you to plan your content uh, plan your posts uh, i've been very <laughs> neglectful of this but uh yeah I'll, I'll try to discipline myself to actually um do up this particular content planner which is given by canva for for the pro version so five awesome benefits that you can have for canva pro and this is something in which um, you should try too and i would suggest you to explore first i think they have a free version so if i were to go to canva pro and then if you can see uh, i think they have a yeah a trial so you can uh, i don't know how long i think it's about two weeks or something or let me see I can't find how much, how long you get it for free. I think it's about one month, the maximum, or two weeks. So um, the point is, I would highly recommend this for new designers or designers that want to step into the market and the industry, uh, or, or designer that want to design things in Mulakan, because in Mulakan it's very simple to change graphics, like what you just saw just now. And yeah, and, and I would really appreciate if you guys were to click the link below because that is my affiliate link. If I have to refer you guys to uh, Canva Pro, then I get a small commission of it. So I highly recommend you guys to try it because it's good, it's awesome, and it's really user-friendly. So with that, I conclude this particular video. I thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and support the channel. And I will continue to be consistent, please because it's been very tough on my side to manage many things at one go so uh, this is a trick for you guys and I hope to actually upload more videos in the future okay talk to you guys soon bye bye